So in this video, we're going to revise Pythagoras' theorem. And Pythagoras' theorem is all about right angle triangles, and in particular, the sides of the right angled triangle. Okay, Pythagoras' theorem says that the longest side, what's called the hypotenuse, that's always the longest side of a right angle triangle, the diagonal side, if you like, uh, always the one that is opposite the 90 degree angle, that side squared is always equal to the two other sides squared and added together. Okay, so it always has to be the longest side squared the hypotenuse, in other words, that's what it's called, that's the hypotenuse squared is equal to the other two sides squared and added together. So that's what the theorem states. And that theorem is on your log tables on page 16. If you can see here under right angle triangles, down here, Pythagoras' theorem, there we go, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And again, you see the key thing there is that the c is representing that longest side, that diagonal that is opposite the 90 degrees which is what we call the hypotenuse. So the key thing to note about Pythagoras' theorem is this is all about the sides in a right angle triangle, okay? In other words, you use this when given sides and looking for a side. Okay, so it's all about the sides. That's how you know to use Pythagoras. You're given sides, you're looking for a side, and it's a right angled triangle. And the other key thing, as I've already mentioned, that this has always got to be the hypotenuse. Whatever you sub in for the C must be the hypotenuse. Okay, uh, and as I said, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, the diagonal opposite the 90 degrees. It's often where pupils make mistakes is they don't put the hypotenuse in this part here. They put the hypotenuse in for one of these sides. Uh, that is key. It must be the hypotenuse that goes first. The hypotenuse squared is equivalent to the other two sides squared and added together. Right, let's jump into some questions here so we can see exactly how this works. Okay, so take a look at this question. So we're looking for this side length marked x. Uh, it is a right angle triangle, of course. We're given sides, we're looking for this side, so we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. If you feel confident, press pause and see how you get on with this question. So Pythagoras' theorem, of course, is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And as we said, we can get that in log tables uh, on page 16. Now, C has got to represent the hypotenuse. And when we look at this triangle, the first thing you're going to want to identify is which one is the hypotenuse. And of course, it is this one here, the x, that is the hypotenuse, okay? Uh, so we're going to put the x in for the C. So instead of C squared, it will be x squared equals, and then it's the other two sides squared and added together. Now, it doesn't really matter which way you put these in, uh, because we're squaring each of them and adding them together, order doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the three first. And remember, when you sub something in, keep brackets around it, plus, and then the four. Okay, so in my next step now, what I can do is I can evaluate the right-hand side further. So the left-hand side stays x squared. 3 squared, though, of course, is 9, and 4 squared is 16. And then adding that together, 9 plus 16 is 25. And now, always our aim, of course, is to get x on its own equals. So to undo the square, to go from x squared to x, if you remember, we must square root. That's how we undo the square. And that gives us x is equal to the square root of 25, and that works out nicely for us. And you can do it on the calculator if you're unsure. Square root of 25 is 5 centimetres. Okay? Okay, so try this question. Press pause and see how you get on. So again, it's a right angle triangle. I'm given sides. I'm looking for a side. So we are going to use Pythagoras' theorem. And the first thing I want to identify is which one 
is my hypotenuse? Which side, in other words, is my hypotenuse? And again, we want the diagonal, the longest side, uh, opposite the 90 degrees, which is, of course, this one here. There's my hypotenuse, which is x again in this case. So I'm going to sub that in for the c. Instead of c squared, it will, of course, be x squared. And then, of course, I'm going to sub in the other two sides and square them and add them together. So I'll put in a 5 first. Uh, again, it doesn't matter. You can work out the same whether you put the 8 in first or the 5. Uh, the one that's really important that you get right is, of course, this has to be the hypotenuse. After that, the other two sides can be inputted in either way. So let's evaluate that. Uh, 5 squared is 25 and 8 squared is 64. Okay, and then... Uh, the right hand side, we can add these two together, 25 and 64 is 89. And then remember to get x on its own, to undo the square, we must square root. So square root of 89, so now we'll go to the calculator, because this won't always work out nicely for you when you're doing roots. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. When I do square root of 89 on the calculator then, I can see I am getting root 89 back again. Press the S to D button, and we get 9.4339. I'm going to do this to two decimal places, so that'll be 9.43. Look at the number after. That's just a 3, which says that we leave the 3 in front the same. So we'll do 9.43, and of course, don't forget your units, centimetres. Okay, let's take a look at this question. Uh, again, we've got a right angle triangle. We are given two sides. We're looking for a side. So that's how we know we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem, where it's a right angle triangle. We're given sides looking for a side. Okay, pause the video, see how you get on with this. Again, the first thing you want to identify here is which side is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, remember, is your longest side, always the diagonal opposite the 90 degrees. So the 10 centimeter line is the hypotenuse in this question. So writing down our Pythagoras' theorem, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, we know we've got to put the hypotenuse in for the c. So instead of c squared, this time I'm going to put in 10 squared. So 10 in brackets and don't forget to square it. And then a squared plus b squared. And again, it doesn't matter which way around we do this. Uh, so I'll put in the 8 first, and then I'll put in the x. And of course, each of these have to be squared and then added together. Okay, now the next step, let's evaluate what we can. So 10 squared, we can evaluate to 100. And 8 squared is, of course, 64. And then we have plus x squared. Now, as always with our equations, we want to get x on its own. Okay, so first of all, if we look over here, here's where the x is, but of course it is squared. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get the x squared on its own. Okay, now in order to get x squared on its own on this side, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get rid of that 64 that's being added. So in order to get rid of the 64 that's being added, I'm just going to take it away. But of course, if I take away 64 on the right hand side, I've got to take away 64 on the left hand side. That will get rid of that, which is exactly what I want. I've left on the right hand side, then the only thing I've got left is the x squared. That's also what I want to do. I want to get the x squared on its own, then I can move on to get the x on its own. And on the left hand side, 100 minus 64 now is 36. So now to undo the square, we of course square root. And the square root of 36 works out nicely to be 6 centimetres. And that's our answer. Okay, so final example here. Uh, again, we can see we have a right angle triangle. We are given two sides. We are looking for a side. So that's how we know to use Pythagoras. Pause the video, see how you get on with this. So the first thing we want to identify for ourselves is which side is the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse, remember, is always opposite the 90 degrees. And this is, of course, uh, the longest side, okay? Just be careful because I know that looks like a diagonal there, but it has to be, of course, the longest side opposite the 90 degrees. If you were to turn this uh, so the 90 degrees was, was sitting that seven was the base, 
then of course it would be clear that that line there is a diagonal line. But no, opposite the 90 degrees, that's key. That one there is the hypotenuse. Okay, so Pythagoras' theorem states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, when c, of course, is that hypotenuse. So let's fill that in straight away. 15 squared is equal to, and now the other two sides, we're going to sub in, square them and add them together. So I'm going to put in the 7 and the x squared. Okay, so now we'll evaluate. And for 15 squared, we are getting 225. And for 7 squared, that is 49. So that's what we have. So of course we want to get x squared on its own. So in order to do that, we'll take away the 49 from that side. Okay, that's the only way to get rid of that because it's being added. So we will just take it away. If I take away 49 on that side, I've got to take away 49 on the left-hand side as well. So that leaves me with the x squared on its own and 225 take away 49 is 176. So if x squared is equal to 176, and now I want to get x on its own, in other words, we want to undo the square, we will, of course, square root 176. And I'm going to do that on my calculator. So square root 176 equals, uh, okay, 4 root 11 is an answer to that, or a simplified third. But let's get it to decimal places. So I press the S to D button, and I've got 13.266. We'll do two decimal places again. So I want 13.26, but remember, you must look at the number after, which is another 6. That 6 will make the 6 before bump up. So that will be uh, 13.26. 27 centimeters is equal to x.